Merry Chrysler. What's going on, guys? Hope you had a lovely Christmas. John Jansen has proposed to Alexis Bellino with a promise ring. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about it. Get ready. Oh, hi, it's me, Zach Peter, pop culture junkie, reality TV insider, published author, and host of the No Filter with Zach Peter podcast. Here, I'll bring you all the latest news on The Real Housewives, deep dives into celebrity legal scandals, and unfiltered combos with your favorite stars. I've got you covered. And yes, I always keep receipts. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for all the latest tea. Now, let's dive in. Morning, guys. I hope you guys had a lovely uh, Christmas and a great Hanukkah. I believe today is Kwanzaa. So if you celebrate Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa. Um, and we're getting ready to, to shut it down. We are ending 2023 and we are coming into 2024. I mean, do we feel like we're coming into it better people? God, I feel like I'm really like shiny and puffy and shiny. Listen, but that's how you're supposed to be the day after a holiday. Um, but yeah, Jesus Louise, OMG. Um, yeah, I guess this is our this is our final countdown until the end. Uh, we only have one, two, three, four, five days left of 2023. So we got to make these five days count, you guys. Um, hopefully you are spending them with some loved ones. Maybe you got a, a nice little booty call to keep you warm until then. I already got the champagne in the fridge. I'm ready to go. Let's get it. Um, thank you, artists. Oh, that's so sweet. Hello, gorgeous. And happy new year. Thank you, Artist Fleet, for the super sticker. Okay. Very, very sweet of you. Um, okay. Let's talk about John Jansen and Alexis Bellino. Because she posted a photo to her Instagram, which is a ring from John Jansen. Okay. And it had everybody, like, shooketh. But I think the caption is what was more bizarre. So she posted her chubby little fingers and good for her. She's got a cute, fresh little manicure and everything. And, you know, she's just trying to keep it cute, right? Post the photo of her hand. You can see there's a nice ring. It looks like a, um, I don't know if there are any diamonds in that ring. It just looks like a, a silver ring. Maybe those are little diamonds. I don't know. It has like four little, I don't know. That's not a cross. I don't know what to call that. But I don't know. It's a very bedazzled you know, a nice little bedazzled ring, right? It looks like something they would give you on, you know, like Teen Mom. Remember when they were like teenagers and he'd be like, I bought you a ring from the Walmart, honey. Remember that Amber Portwood and Gary? Oh, Amber and Gary were chaos. Um, but so anyway, she writes the caption, words cannot, period. Actions do, period. I will no longer feel guilty, period. I will not apologize, period. Love will create its own story, period. I love you, Johnny J. Words cannot, actions do. I will no longer feel guilty. I will not apologize. Love will create its own story. I love you, Johnny J. Hashtag love wins. Bitch, you're not gay. Hashtag not engaged. What? Hashtag promised. Hashtag Merry Christmas. So he gave her a promise ring. It's a promise ring. The she's too fucking old for a fucking promise ring. She's too old. We're, no, I'm too old for a promise. If somebody was ever like, here's a promise ring, I'd be like, fuck off. What are you promising me? I'm not promised tomorrow. Neither are you. And then she also tags Van Cleef and Arpels, which I'm assuming is the jeweler that he got it from. So I'm like, that's interesting. You tagged the jeweler? Just also looking at the people that I follow that liked this post. I'm having some real questions for some of you guys. I don't, how do we feel about this? I'm, I'm very taken aback by it. What is a promise ring? Oh, okay. JB in the live chat says, I'm a jeweler and that's a pricey ring. How pricey are we talking, JB? I mean, listen, that's fine. But I was about, like... Guys, who gives a promise ring in your 80s? Like, come on. I know they're not really in their 80s, but I mean, come on. He prom what is the promise for? What like what is the promise? What is the point of a promise ring? Like, what are you promising? I promise to always be here. Great, get married. You can't promise that. 
How come Shannon never got a promise ring? Oh my God. Somebody needs to check on Archie. <sighs> Tracy says he promises to stay with her throughout the next housewife season. Aren't promise rings for people going away to university? Are they? Remember the Jonas Brothers had promise rings? It was like a promise to keep their virginity until, I don't know, some fresh coochie came along and then they threw them in the garbage. I don't know. I just think a promise ring is weird. Like, those Jesus jugs deserve, like, a real engagement ring. Like, why even? It's just, we I can't get over it. Um, no word from Shannon Bedore yet. No word from John Jansen. Let's see. How is Shannon Bedore? She hasn't posted anything. She posted some photos um, with her girls. She's grateful for my girls this holiday season with heart emojis. Um, she went to Jeff Lewis's Hollywood house lift party that she posted about, but that was earlier in the month. So nothing except for this cute little holiday post with her and her daughters, where she says she's grateful for her daughters. Listen, it's more embarrassing, not even for Shannon, it's more embarrassing for Alexis that she posted that she had a promise ring more than anything. I don't think she's coming back to OC, though. From what I've heard, heard and it's, i was also hearing rumblings that it was related to her child support that like if she were to take the paycheck from bravo then she would lose her child support but then i looked into her child support she only gets six grand a month for her child support she gets i think 10 grand in spousal support and six grand in child support so she's getting sixteen thousand a month i mean listen that's nothing compared to Sutton's three hundred thousand that Sutton gets from her ex but it's just strange to me. Um, who's the? Uh, I just think it's is sixteen thousand a month worth. I mean, I guess. How much do you think that they would even offer her to come back? I'm hearing that they weren't offering her a full time position, but they were offering to give her a chance to come back and make like guest spots and cameos. So I'm assuming it was like a. It just didn't make sense for her, but they must not have offered her a lot of money if she turned it down so easily. Um, but I don't think she will be returning. I think it would be great if she did. I would love to see her return um, and actually, you know, give us, give us something to talk about with Shannon Bedour, but... I don't think that's going to happen. She also posted another photo or a series of photos with John Jansen, right? The two of them together and they're like uh, cozying up on a bow. And then there's another photo that she posted. This one looks fairly recent because it looks like there are some Christmas lights in the background and she's wearing like winter attire, but it's just these two photos that she posts. This was, oh, overnight, like at one in the morning. Jesus. Um, Oh, no, not one in the morning. Like, Oh, yeah, about midnight. What was she doing up at midnight on Christmas? But she writes, Johnny J, let everyone talk. But you've shown me that I've never, you've shown me love that I've never known. I love you. Hashtag, this is our Christmas card. Hashtag, Merry Christmas. This is our Christmas card? Now you have a Christmas card together? Like, what is this? She's like a, a teenage girl in high school. And the two of them, like, what is, they're, they're too damn old to be playing these games. This is our Christmas card. Hashtag love wins. Like, what? what? Like, this is embarrassing for both of them. I'm not even playing at this point. Like, this is just, and again, I'm looking at the people that liked these posts. And I have questions for some of my friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't understand what she's doing with her life. Johnny J. What a stupid name. Like, like Johnny J. Like, what a, like, it's so stupid. It's so, all of it is so embarrassing. It really is so embarrassing. Um, But I guess, yeah, she's a stage five clinger. Is she a clinger? He, I don't know. He seems to be into her. He's giving her promise rings and he doesn't have an Instagram, does he? Was he Johnny underscore J? Johnny J. I can't keep up with these two. I do feel bad for Shannon. No, I don't feel bad for Shannon. Actually, she dodged a bullet with this one. I mean, he was with her for a long time. I just don't understand, like, what about Alexis Bellino, aside from her Jesus drugs, was 
Like, why string? Why do guys do that? Like, that's so mean. You string Shannon along for all these years and, like, let her believe. Like, it's just, it's so mean, you guys. It's so mean to do that to Shannon. And then now he's with Alexis. And they're promised. They're not engaged. They're promised. I can't. <clears throat> Did anything else exciting happen? Oh. Here's the ring. Oh, somebody tweeted. Dan Cohen tweeted um, a photo of the ring. Oh, the, oh, guys, this ring is $80? What? No. <gasps> the, Dan sent me a photo of an online screenshot of the ring and the price underneath it is $80. Is that worthy enough to be promised? Like, is $80 a good enough promise? $80 is... I mean, it's a decent price for a gift, but, like, if that's your significant other and, like, I don't know. Not, I mean, eighty dollars is. Ooh, I'm just saying. Even like, listen, I I don't like eighty dollars. Like, you know, gift giving ranges, right? You know, the prices range. Like, if I kind of like you, but like, <sighs> I kind of have. I'm buying you an obligatory gift. Then I'm shooting like the thirty to forty dollar range for you, right? Maybe a nice shirt, maybe a candle. I don't know. I'll get you something decent, you know? But if I like you, then I'm definitely spending upwards of $80, you know? I just, I don't know. I don't understand. It's Van Cleef. It's way more than $80. What is Van Cleef? I don't know. I don't know jewelry. So if Van Cleef is something nice or fancy, I don't know. Maybe the promise is 80 bucks worth of fun. Ooh. I just, that's even more embarrassing. She's flaunting an $80 ring. She's flaunting an $80 knockoff. Van Cleef. Well, also, to be fair, to be fair, this photo and this screenshot, it looks like it's like an um, offer up or a Poshmark. So it looks like this person, Miami 98710, is the one that put it up there. So this could be a used Van Cleef. And they are just putting their old used Van Cleef up on offer up for $80. That or Poshmark, whatever. I don't know, whatever one of these sites is. So it doesn't look like this is actual retail price. This is just, you know, how much Ronald Richard pay, paid to get Erica's earrings because he didn't want to pay full price. <laughs> Regardless, whether it was a new ear, a new ring or a used ring, it's not. Yeah. But I think she should absolutely, she should absolutely come back to, to Real Houses of Orange County. And then she can buy her own Van Cleef. Which, first of all, Van Cleef is a terrible name. Zach, can I post a shameless link to my TikTok shop? Um, Sure. John didn't pay eighty thousand dollars. He's cheap. How much is a van? okay? Let's Van Cleef prices. Is that something that you Google? I don't know. Oh, oh! This Van Cleef ring that he bought her is retailing for twelve thousand dollars. It's not eighty dollars. Eighty dollars is just the used one that someone posted up online. I found it. Wow, it's, okay. Oh, it does have, like, diamonds in it. Oh, wow. It is a pearly clover's ring, small model, 18 carat white gold diamonds with 28 stones. 0 0.62 carats, three-fourths jewelry ring. Oh, you can get it on a monthly payment plan with a firm. There we go. So it's an 18, oh, 18K white gold diamond ring. Pearly clovers ring. Oh, that's what they are. They're clovers. That's what I was trying to think. I was like, it's like a little cross. Interesting. Wow. So he bought her a 12. Okay. 
how long have they even been dating? Have they been dating that long? Like, who buys their new girlfriend an, a $12,000 ring and is like, here, babe, I promise to... What is the fucking promise? $12,000. All right, he earned a ride on those Jesus drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. Don't. Y'all are getting mad at me. I don't know what... I don't. What does John Jansen do for a living? Let's Google that. What does John? Oh, it's the top Google search with John Jansen. John Jansen accumulated his wealth through successful startup tech, uh, through successful tech startups, strategic investments, and real estate ventures. Well, there we go. Sounds like money laundering to me. Jk, Jk, that was a joke. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, I promise to never do you like I did Shannon. It's just wild, 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 wild. Um, yeah, aside from that, I don't think anything else. Nothing has happened since Christmas. I mean, everyone did like their cute Christmas post and oh, look at my family. No, oh, look at what I got. So. Yeah, everyone just posted a bunch of memes. Um, Emma Watson, or sorry, not Emma Watson, Emma Roberts. She made eggs a la Francais. We have the finale of Salt Lake City, which is not this week, but next week. We have New Year's coming, so we have uh, we have the week off. I have Fem Tarot that's going to be on the podcast on Wednesday. Um, We'll be live at 9 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m. Pacific, and then it'll be immediately uploaded onto the podcast. But um, yeah, Femtero will be here. We'll be chatting about you know some of our biggest questions for 2024. Maybe we'll even give out some free readings, some rapid readings. But uh, all right, guys. I know this was a quick, a quick and easy one. I had a nice Christmas. I spent it with my family. Um, yeah, actually, I, you know, waking up on Christmas, I put all of my Christmas shopping to like the dead last minute. Like literally I was Christmas shopping on the 23rd and the 24th because I just was not feeling it this year. And so even going into Christmas Eve, I was just like, oh, I don't know why I'm just not in the mood this year to do Christmas and Christmas is always my favorite. But so then I went to take my dogs to my mom so that they can play with their brother Bowie in the backyard and just kind of run while we were all out doing our things for um, Christmas. And I went to go visit my grandfather, who um, normally we do like a dinner or something. We'll go out to dinner on Christmas Eve, and then everybody comes over and we celebrate on Christmas Day at my grandfather's house, my dad's side of the family. And... I went to go visit him and he was just home alone, like cooking, whatever. And I was, I was like, oh, we didn't do any, um, we didn't plan any like dinner or anything. Like everybody was just so scat scatterbrained this year. But so I went over and I was kind of like in just like a funky mood. And I, I went over and we ended up watching The Family Stone, which was really sad because spoiler alert, the mom dies at the end of the movie. And it was just sad because my grandmother just died a couple years ago. And so, you know, it was just, it's a Christmas movie about the mom and she dies in the end. And I was like, well, but I thought it'd be kind of cute because like, you know, they, the family learns how to adapt with Christmas without her. And, you know, it's a funny movie. So, so he ended up crying by the end of the movie. And I'm like, great. I was like, it was supposed to like make us feel better. But, but it was actually a really nice time. It, it was just, it was nice, you know, having the Christmas lights on and just the two of us watching Christmas movies and eating snacks. And it just, it was really nice. And it put me back into a good holly jolly mood. And then I went to go uh, celebrate Christmas Eve with my mom's side of the family because all the family all gets together at my great grandmother's house. She's she passed away many both my great grandparents passed away many years ago on my mom's side, but that's still the family house that everybody comes to and we celebrate and we do white elephant. And I was lit when I tell you I was lit. I don't even I barely remember leaving. I was like, how did I get home? I was like, wow, but I did, and I oh, okay, you know, I was living life. I didn't open any presents. The second we finished white elephant and they started doing stocking stuff, I always know. That's one thing about me. I'm never going to pass out at somebody's house. I'm never going to spend the night somewhere I'm, that I, is not my own bed. And that's, you know. But one thing about me is I always know when it's time to exit a party. 
I always know once I hit that mode where I'm like, ooh, I'm I'm not gonna make it another five minutes. I call my Uber, grab my shit, and I'm out. I'll do an Irish exit. Sometimes I don't say, but I just like I'm like I need to go because I'm lit, and I was lit, and went home, went to bed, woke up, wrapped some presents, kind of cleaned up the house a bit, then went to back to my grandfather's house because then we were cooking and doing everything there. So it was a holly jolly time. We had fun. I had a good time. I ended up winning some uh, wine in the White Elephant game. It was like a Snoop Dogg wine. It's not good. I would not recommend it. This is the time of year. You know, you always think like, oh, I'll go for the alcohol because it's like alcohol will always be good. Listen. I was not a fan of the Snoop Dogg wine. I think Snoop Dogg should stick to making um, weed and brownies, you know? Didn't he like give up weed? And he's like trying to be a new person. Stupid. Whatever. Um, Good for him. Good for him. But yeah, it was a good time. It was, it, it was, I really enjoyed my time with my family. I enjoyed my Christmas. I hope you guys did too. Hopefully you guys got some good gifts. What did I get? I got a, I got a coffee maker that didn't arrive yet. I got an Amazon gift card. I got my terrible Snoop Dogg wine. We haven't really exchanged gifts yet, like our immediate family. Like we've gone to all the, the things, but we haven't exchanged our gifts yet. Um, but yeah. There we go. Just found a brochure for Van Cleef. Ooh, a Van Cleef exhibit. Interesting. Well, like I said, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I'll be back tomorrow with Fem Tarot. Let me know what topics you guys would like us to cover now. And I will see you soon. Talk to you later, skater. And there are no episodes, no new Ringer reality TV uh, morally corrupt episodes. No recaps this week. So it's just going to be the regular podcast Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Bonus episode will still be Friday. We'll still have our Thursday night live. Um, no podcast episode next Monday because it is New Year's Day and I want to enjoy my New Year's Day. But podcast will be back Tuesday. Um, all of the regular stuff will be back. We'll be back on. Uh, morally corrupt and we'll be back with salt lake city recap on wednesday so all that good stuff stay tuned all right guys i love you i appreciate you you can always keep up with me at just plain zach all over the interwebs i love you i love you i love you merry christmas happy kwanzaa happy new year uh happy hanukkah all the good things love you guys appreciate you give me a follow just plain zach if you want to keep up with me or uh, you can follow the podcast at No Fields with Zach on the Instagram and catch new episodes every Monday through Thursday. Streams live first thing in the morning at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time on YouTube. And you can always listen to full episodes of the podcast everywhere podcasts are available. You can check it out on Spotify. You can listen and watch on Spotify. So if you want to watch the podcast, you can watch the full video on Spotify for each episode that gets put out there. So there you go. Those are all the things. The new merch is on sale now. The link is in the description below. So if you want to get the new merch, we have new Zach Pack hoodies to keep you nice and cozy in the new year. You have Find Me at Jason's shirts. You have um, Ruthless, Not Toothless shirts. All the things available now available in the merch store. Link is down below. So be sure to stock up on that while you can. Use those gift cards. Put those gift cards to good use. And go shop. Zach Peter merch. No filter with Zach Peter. All right. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I've said that like 25 times now, but I mean it. Goodbye.